Welcome to a puzzle about Google searches? Yeah, so we need to find a phrase that has more than a million results when preceded by blue or red, but less than a million results when preceded by green or yellow. So it's kind of like saying, what's a more popular set of words that relate to red and blue, but less popular with green and yellow? Now, the funny thing is that Google has actually removed that feature that showed, oh, there's like a million results for this. Probably because it was all fake anyway. We replaced it with a freaking area reveal. But yeah, if you ever tried going past like page 15 in Google, you'd find nothing but dupes and so that million number of results is like fake as hell. Regardless, we actually have an older version of Google which happens to work for stuff like this. Let's check it out. So red block already is over a million results. Blue block, let's try this. Two, over 2 million. Now I'll be incredibly lucky because block is just the first random word that I tried. Yellow block. <laughs> I think I'm going to need to get an AI to freaking get a more <laughs> elegant result for that one. Never mind, I got a really clown response. It told me that traffic light would fit. Well, that would freaking boost red, green, and yellow. It's just not... Uh, anyway, looks like Google's own AI is no clue either. So let's go. Just type in block. Surprisingly, you... Maybe surprisingly, you need manual confirmation. Also, again, now that Google's search doesn't show you the results number anymore, they're like, I guess that's the only way this could be playable. So, next puzzle in the sequence. The goal of this one is to find three words such that the first two has over a million, the last two has over a million, all three has less than 10 results. I mean, note, uh, the rules also said to search everything in quotes, so we'd kind of assume that any nonsense three-word phrase might get a very few results. Well, let's think of something. But yeah, this kind of makes sense, right? Chess bat, like, imagine a two-word phrase. This is already not over a million results, but if you add another word, it's basically just a subset of the results you would get with just chess battle. So it makes sense that this one would have lower results, which is, by the way, not under 10, thanks to me. <laughs> But okay, this should actually be easier, right? Because it's just find two phrases that connect. So, like, let's, like, probably people have said good dog, uh, damn it. We need a three-word phrase to be a lot more obscure than that. <laughs> like, this is a freaking product. Wouldn't putting a number in there be a very easy way to connect two things? Like, chess 2 probably has over a mil- Really, we're gonna have trouble getting to a million, huh? Man, maybe chess is too obscure a topic. It doesn't even break a million. Okay, so like pawn shop is really popular. I don't know if white pawn's gonna be popular. Ah, uh, god, god, black pawn is less. Okay, so this is so dumb, but shoplifting, it's not even a million, unfortunately. But I figure like this is going to be. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, if if this actually worked and got me over a million, this would work. I mean, zero is less than ten. Okay, so I I'm, I'm gonna, I didn't find any success with this, but I I'm gonna find um I think this is going to work. Like, well, it's, it's, it actually fits the use of a word in completely different contexts. Ice cube is over 3 million. Cube root will probably be over a million. Yep, it's over a million. But those two do not have the same semantics. So no one's ever, yep, this is under 10 results. Eight results. Let's put in ice cube root. Next. Huh. Increasing order of results. Huh. So cold least, long least, and a oh, wow. So we, I mean, if fastest has the most results, then we should think of a phrase that has fast. I don't think food is going to work. People probably say cold food too much. Fast lane? I can try. 19 million. Smart lane. That's a lot less. 57k. Long lane. That is even more. That's okay. That will not work. Okay. I tried a bunch of other stuff, but I think this is going to work. Well, because I did try and it worked, but yeah, it didn't take that long. Fast worker is about 700k. Smart worker, uh, 280k. Long worker, 24k. Cold worker, 5k. So here we are. One last one in this section. Uh, Autocomplete suggestions. If you open an incognito window and type it without quotes, one of them is what you type followed by food, and another is clothes or clothing. So wait, something that relates to both food and clothing in the autocomplete? I thought about fashion with the fast puzzle. I didn't even type it in because that wouldn't work. Um, but yeah, I mean, clothing is kind of fashion. I don't know. It could also be multiple words. We haven't really used the multiple words bit at all, but we could. So it could be a phrase followed by food or clothes. Well, before I even put anything in, like, what 
wasted food. Um, dinner food? There's no dinner clothing. What is that? Like, there's no point even trying the autocomplete without actually having something in mind that would reasonably work. German food, maybe. Maybe that would, like, a culture. Hmm. So you can actually, like, like, if you do F, then you likely get food. However, it really it does care that, like... The puzzle involves having it at the very end. Just because we see food and clothes in here does not solve the puzzle. Is there a way to hack this so that it, it can, like, manip manipulate it into saying food? Maybe if I search the words food and clothing long enough, Google's infinite spy data servers will mark me as someone who really likes to put food and clothing at the end of their searches. I eat f I eat food. I eat fungi. I eat food in Spanish. I eat fiber but still constipated. I eat fast food every day. I eat fish every day. I eat fast. I eat fruit every day. I eat fish in Spanish. I eat f Okay, actually, I, I thought of something. Like, I was thinking what's the category that both food and clothing are, and I thought of one, which is like, humans, like, need access to both food and clothing, so the homeless need access to my contacts, my camera. <laughs> this is 1984. All humans should have access to health, genetic information, and then food. Also, clothes is not on here. Damn, I just thought of a really good one, and I, it doesn't work, but it's taste in... You don't get it, but it's like t bad taste in food and bad taste in clothing with like... Uh, but clearly there's a lot more than that that it could be. Okay, you know, you could probably do food clothing, food clothing, and, and like, hypnotize the autocomplete, but that's too much of a cheese, probably. Dude, I just thought of this, by the way, when to throw out- actually, that's a lie, I didn't think of this, um, at this moment. I thought of it while I was trying to sleep yesterday. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, when to throw out old clothes, and food would be a natural one on there, but it doesn't have food. <laughs> The phrasing is also very specific about it being what you typed followed by food, not just any result that happens to have food at the end, so this doesn't work. Alright, so I asked Google's brainwashed AI, what is a phrase that makes sense both when followed by food and clothing? Here's what I got. You could get ready for this. I can't help with that right now. I'm trained to be as accurate as possible, but I can make mistakes sometimes. While I work on perfecting how I can discuss elections and politics, you can try Google search. <sighs> like, what the absolute hell, man. <sighs> Throwing out old baby. Formula. Clothes. Damn it! I'm so glad I can buy baby clothes, baby doge, baby chicks, baby furniture, baby things, and baby back ribs. Oh my god, I found it. It, it only took like several ways to say, oh, newborn clothes and whatever. Um, I wonder if it's like the intended. Like, could you even say there's an intended solution for this puzzle? Unfortunately, I can't ask the creator. Because, you know. Anyway, put that there. Boom. And now this is unlocked... Well, I don't even know where it is. We still haven't completed quite a lot of this game. <laughs> so now we're back into the main section of the game, of course. And I don't think I solved this one previously. I don't even know what this thing freaking does at the top. But these pu different puzzles are about sorting words in different categories. And certainly some of these look like characters and some of them do not. And some of them look a little more generic. Like they have the and a in front of it. Previous puzzles have had 6-6 six, six distribution. I'm not sure this is the case here, though. I guess Tinkerbell goes there and I have no idea about the other three and whether this is even the distribution or not i don't know and it's probably unlikely because it has one two three four i don't know what that is for at all three press sender one two three four i don't know <laughs> like it does say you can search stuff in the riddle but i just i don't know what's going on but this is a puzzle i haven't seen apparently this is about criteria so if i do chess one of four chess battle zero criteria mat lol the freaking amazing so, what do you mean? What's the difference between blank, the zero of four and minus sign? Huh. All right, we can try like. Looks like a double letter might be one of the criteria. It's just spamming stuff. Maybe it has to be real words as well. Zone, ozone. One of. Oh, ozone works. Hmm. We can try palindrome. That did, that did not work at all. Uh, like we might as well try to confirm that's the the double letter. Mm. 
Essentials? That that does two out of four. I can sort guesses by number of criteria match. Why is it not on the opposite order? My gosh. I gotta freaking go exit the level and come back to make this not a mess. Essence, that also works. Can we try really long words? That all- wait, what the? Huh. What? That's even more? It doesn't have a double letter. Maybe it's about, like, like a certain letter at a certain position. Oh, chess does not share any letters in the same position as expert. Expertise? That is actually less. That's also interesting that adding letters could lead to something less. How about empire? Nope, that's less. I mean, X in second position feels maybe something irrelevant. Like, Ox is two out of four. Axe is also two out of four. Maybe Vowel in the first position. Let's have an Ox four and it's three of four. And try Expose, maybe. That's three of four as well. How about just Expo? That's two of four. So I've been thinking about that double letter thing. I mean, maybe it's just double letter in anywhere, not necessarily adjacent. Like, if I do Expose, that's two of four. Like, if I do... Okay, so does it have to be real words or what? I don't know. In fact, it seems, seems like doubling up on this is too much. Now the question is, is any of my other one of fours a rule that this hasn't found? And of course, there is the worrying possibility that some of these three of fours may not be the same rules. Like this expire expiry one, with the, the expiry doesn't have a double letter. So... Expires, expiries, that's okay. Let's go back to try to find three of fours. Really does feel like that X is relevant somehow. Empirically? Nope. It may not be about the Y at the end. Thoughts right now are something like, I guess we should do like repression. That's one of four. Anywhere fits the double rule. What's going on with the Y? That's that fits the double rule. No, I don't know what's going on with expiry that's like different. <sighs> Okay, again, it really sure seems to be that E at the end that matters. Maybe it's an X in general? <laughs> that, that fits vowel in first. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm getting this one of four. Devour and devout. <laughs> Divine is sus, I gotta say. Also, develop is sus for not satisfying the double letter rule. I want to say that's something about the Y at the end, but I don't know. Yeah, I gotta get rid of double letter. That's not what it is. But it's weird that it looks like double letter so much of the time. But like, if it was double letter, then what is this thing? Is another research just length six or what? Like, we, we can try by like making six letter things i mean not a single six letter word has zero out of four so far so maybe the double letter thing was real and i just got, got mean by this one okay that would make a lot of things make sense of course finding a six letter word with this property <laughs> i can't find one old old chess battle advanced that always should be three of four but unfortunately we're not looking for w and y we're looking for x actually x planetary travel um x Excess! There we go! <laughs> Man, this gives you barely any time to appreciate what you just typed, but there we go. So, we can also check out the- Whoa! <laughs> this is the- <laughs> Oh, welcome to Bongard Problems, the meta level. <laughs> okay, this is incredible. So hard to even read, what the hell? So this is like- This is like pinch, lift, nick, Rob, like, there are synonyms for stealing in this one. They would go on the left. I don't know what to think about this so far. We will need to, like, star. This probably involves lots of shapes, maybe? But die home play is a little weird. Like, there's, like, tennis terms in there. <laughs> it could also be which ones, like, that are selected to be on left and the right, but we're not sure about that right now. Are these tarot cards? And we got fruits in here, and... Zombie goes with what? I don't I don't get this one or this one right now. This site is cursed because when you zoom in, it only gets more pixelated. Okay, I feel like ending this video. <laughs> like, I just don't really know. Like, I think this is steel. I've been... This, I don't know still. Um, Like, there's a lot of things I don't even know on this list. Like, this, doesn't this look way different than the rest? There's also the potential that's like about two colors, like watermelon being red and green and lemon lime. Obviously, that's two colors. The portals are two different colors, but I'm not sure about that one. There's a lot that I don't know. And of course, if you don't solve most of these, you're not going to see the wider pattern. 
pattern. And this, like, a lot of these seem like they're about bowling stuff or something like that. But also, there's like five pointed things. So that might be the other pattern. Um, down here, clay. I don't. I have no idea what's going on with that one at all. This, I mean, there's some pretend terms in here. But I still don't know the overall pattern. This is obviously tarot card stuff. This, I actually did figure out. This is the... And, and for some reason, it's all alternating. I don't know if that's relevant. But we are going for Black Hole, Black Widow, Black Friday, Blackmail. That's the joke with that one. And here, I'm not sure. Like, there's some things that have two meanings in this one. I For an instance, I thought it was, like, backwards words. Like, this one was potentially gum backwards. But I don't think that's what it is. Still, I, I, I didn't figure this one out. So I might have to unsatisfyingly end this video. Another teaser for something that this game has is, is, is a side path about letter webs, which I've never heard of before. I'm not going to go read the, all this stuff, but it's like, it's this massive map of things that share the same letter. Like, if I type a letter, it connects to both this and this, and device will be flipped upside down. I mean, there's, what is this, hourglass, probably? And it fills in a bunch of the rest of this stuff, and every line has a hint. And so, I guess what's the closest comparison is, like, solving a bunch of crossword clues, or maybe, like, just riddles in general. Some of the letters share other answers. Um, anyway, that'll be it. Chess Battle Advanced.